Hi, welcome to September 2010's fourth vidcast. Uh, my name is John Dio. Um, I'm going to go through, as usual, the latest seven finds that's published in my blog. No www, just acljohn.posterous.com and we'll get straight on. The first find um, for this particular week is the Museum of Modern Art based in New York uh, in the USA. It's got an interesting educational website that features uh, audio, video, online projects, interviews and materials for practitioners. Many of the resources that are actually offered by the Museum of Modern Art um, foster experimentation and if you look at the Red Studio section of the site there are a number of projects uh, in there which I'm sure many of you could find um, useful within art and family learning etc. If I just go to their website this is the actual website. It's uh, www.moma, that's M O M A, dot org, forward slash learn, forward slash activities, forward slash. Uh, and you'll notice down the left hand side where I'm pointing at the moment, there is the audio, the video, etc. The Red Studio is the one that I talked about. And when I just click on that, hopefully, it's going to load relatively quickly. Here we go. In here, there are a whole load of different activities that may well be useful within teaching and learning. Okay, and that's at redstudio.moma.org forward slash. Second find. Second find is just uh, flagging up uh, perhaps a date for your diaries. It's Get Online Week. I know that perhaps a number of adult and community learning I suppose uh, a number of other learning providers may be interested in getting engaged with the Get Online Week. It's the 18th to the 24th of October 2010 uh, and it's basically uh, trying to, to get as many people to start looking at getting online. I mean, so you may not be aware, but there are over 10 million people in the UK who still don't use computers um, and the internet and the Get Online Week is an attempt to get them engaged. There are details on my blog uh, about what's involved, but if you visit the UK Online website, and it's a very long uh, email, uh, sorry, URL, um, it tells you what the Get Online Week is and what's involved. It does involve getting people online using my guide, uh, the BBC are involved, as are a number of other organisations. But if we go on to the My Guide website, which is myguide.gov.uk forward slash myguide forward slash myguidehome.do, you'll notice that there are uh, a number of different elements here um, splash and grab, register on My Guide, etc. Um, leave you to have a look at that in more detail but that's what's engaged with the uh, national um, run an event or get online week 18th to the 24th of October the next find again is an event that some of the adult and community learning providers that we support may want to get engaged with it's between the 19th to the 25th of October and it's called bake and share uh, it's the National Baking Week. Uh, the website itself, I think, is a useful resource for a number of practitioners. It has recipes, ideas, advice, resources, f mainly aimed at schools, but also could be used in family by la family learning providers, and also may well be used for initial teacher training, etc. Uh, again, if you visit their website, um, their is information. I've gone straight to the um, teachers section and all about the National Baking Week, but do have a look at the recipes, um, what's going on, a baking basic, the fun and games and other similar things. Um, you may well have to register, it doesn't cost you anything to access the resources. It is aimed at Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. Uh, and there are some teaching packs available as well for the National Baking Week. 
Khan Academy next. I know that I've mentioned this before, uh, not in a vidcast, but on my blog. It has more than 1,800 maths and science tutorials and videos online. What the blog entry is about is really for those of you who have YouTube blocked. It gives you access to these resources uh, via different routes. There's iTunes U, there's a link for that. It's quite a long link. I suggest you go on to the acljohn.posters.com and have a look at this particular um, blog entry to get those links. Um, and there's uh, Kariki, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. And also you can, and this is the plus I suppose, download it onto a flash drive for viewing on any computer. Uh, I'll just click on that link. It is M-U-J-I-C-A dot org forward slash Khan forward slash. And this goes through how you can actually download all of those videos onto a memory stick step by step. Uh, and I think that that may well be the one that many of you would opt for. The website itself, let's just go on to that, which is the thekhanacademy.org. You'll notice that there are uh, videos on algebra, algebra with some worked examples as well. Just look at all of the videos. Arithmetic, banking and money, biology, brain teasers, calculus. Uh, then it's an American site, so you've got the Californian standards tests um, for algebra and geometry. There's chemistry, there's the credit crisis, current economics, developmental maths, differential equations, finance, the uh, Gaitha plan, the geometry, history, and so it goes on. Okay, I'll leave you to have a closer look at that. Print Eliminator is the next one I want to draw your attention to. Again, if you go onto their website, which is no www. Again, it's just css-tricks.com forward slash examples forward slash the print eliminator forward slash. Look out for another vidcast. I'm going to do a vidcast on this to demonstrate it. It's well worth having a look. Um, up on the top bar here there is an icon basically all you do is to click on this and drag it up onto the toolbar and whenever you get onto a website you have a number of tools which will allow you to remove things that you don't want to include in printing it saves ink it saves paper it saves cost and you end up with what you actually want to print yes I know you can copy and paste it into another document but this allows you to do it without leaving your browser. The next one, uh, you need to go and have a look yourself, but it is social learning. It is about adult and community learning. Um, let me just open this up and we'll have a little bit more detail about it. Uh, the learning process related and applied to adult education is a central theme of our research. More specifically, we're seeking to bring innovative development practices to the organizational context. Um, I'll leave you to read the rest. This is the video. It's called Social Learning by Lab. Um, SSJ. It's on YouTube and I'll give you the link to that at the top of the screen or it's up there at the moment for you to have a look at in more detail. And finally, that seemed to be very quick, um, there may be some of you who are perhaps a little bit bored with some of the uh, digital um, presentations that you use in teaching and learning. The last find, I suppose, is really an update. I don't know whether you've ever looked at the Office Academic Template Collection, but the Microsoft team have just released a new batch of templates that are designed specifically for use in education in a wide range of categories, and the categories are all there. It's a ridiculous list. If I go onto the page, and again the address is at the top here now, um, the academic templates are all there, uh, and this is a list of what's involved. So you've got things like award certificates, calendars, uh, letters, uh, maths uh, templates, etc. Uh, I think it could be useful for a number of you to save a lot of time in setting things out. Um, by all means, go and have a look.